Welcome back to another episode of this is Yeah, what is this? Item uh, gathering episode items uh, of special importance and so on And then uh, there's also something uh, else that I found it is uh, that Whoa, 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 whoa. come on Bam! Hmm. It's not this stone. Uh, th there we go. This is the tree that I want to go to. And there is a way up there. Uh, do I want to uh, fight these lions or not? Whoa! That was a little bit light. Three, two, one. Boom. The moment you see uh, the fireball coming towards you, you should roll. This is my thing. Whoa. Bam. Whoa. Don't turn around. Alright. Let's quickly heal up. And now nah, it is our chance to destroy this thing. Boom. It seems to shoot a little bit faster. Whoa. Bam, come on, once. Twice. Oh no. Come on. What the? Oh, come on! Attack ability is locked. Again. Okay, now it's working. I don't know why it didn't ha uh, it didn't work, but the first one. I managed to pull off without any issues. The second one, for some reason, was absolutely bugged. Hmm. We he he here. Bam bidi bam bidi bam 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 bidi bam bidi bam. All right, there are two enemies. Uh, one is the doggy. Whoa. Ooh. Let's lure it towards us. Come on. Alright. Okay, got it. Perfect. Now I can focus on the artillery. So, okay, come on. Don't go uh, down too far. I want to trigger its dash ability. I don't know when it... Oh, no. But the fact that you can do this backstep twice in a row like that is so cool. It works with everything. Like every uh, enemy in the game basically... Ooh. Hey, look at that! There's also another tree you can just walk on. Two, exactly. Alright. Now we know more. Good. Only other... Ah, uh, yeah, wait a minute. So, let's get up here. Uh, actually... There is a way of getting up there and onto that ledge. And I managed to get up there in the past. Just don't really know how... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Dum dee dum dee dum dum dum. Oh, is the nah? This is probably not the real way forward. So let's do it a little different. Rihi. Oh no. No 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 no. Don't want to fight whatever is this is. Not yet. Hey. Eh. Something perfect. Now there's just one question: How am I gonna get there? Uh, like I see things being there, sure. But how? 
how do I get there without breaking any legs? Or maybe I have to... Nah. Ah, uh. oh, the thing is just coming closer and I don't like it. So, where do I have to jump to? Okay, this one goes this way, this way, this way. Um, let's go around and see where the connection occurs. Uh, come on. Where's the... There's the connection. Perfect. So I can just... No! Oh, goodness, oh, goodness, goodness. No, come on! Oh. Ah, so stupid. Ah, no, it's cool. Like, it's already really difficult to know where the platform is, right? And making the platform out of leaves, where you actually have no idea where they are. Hmm. Makes it even more difficult to hit. And then, again, uh, like, yeah, there are actually two uh, annoying jump puzzles in this game. Or, like, bleh. Um, or, like, annoying jump sections. And both of them, all right, uh, both of them have these annoying artillery enemies. And that is absolutely bonkers. Uh, it's coming. It's homing. It's homing. It's homing. Bam. Whoa, that was too light. Ooh. Whoa. Nah, no, ugh, come on. Stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Get behind these pillars, so I'm sending. Whoop. And... Come on, he's going to. He's not going to dash. Come on, dash already. Dash. Come on, do the dash. Do the dash. I know you want to. I'm too far away. Okay. Uh, I think he's going to dash when I'm in a slightly medium distance. Let's say, uh, I might be here. No, no, he's, uh, steaming. Ooh. And once more. Perfect. Got, of course, the Insulium Rod. Nice. Uh, wait a minute. So if I... Yeah, if I go further, and there are two items on trees. So if I go further, then the other artillery dude will get me. And I lost so many axions again. The thing is, uh, if you get rid of a few enemies every now and then just to get your axions, then inevitably you will end up with the amount you need for the next level up. Except for right now. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's throw it in here. Come on. Get here. Oh. Oh, wait. All right, got it. And to get the biggie, and Woo. whoa, that, that that was close. That was really close. Oh, oh yeah, I'm still burning. That's not cool. That is absolutely not cool. Like, one of them should give me the other artillery item. Because, yeah, I did prepare. I know that there's another artillery item. There are usually two of any kind. Um, except for daggers, somehow. The ceremonial dagger is the only dagger in here. Or at least... No, actually, there is another fast uh, swinging item. Okay. This was here. All right. I was somehow unable to traverse that section because I jumped this way. Uh, okay. 
Uh, the issue that you uh, seem to come across every time uh, you try to jump is that you have to get the shortest uh, distance. Oh, come on, not again! Oh. oh no, I don't have any charges. Oh, shit. Like, I wanted to jump, but I, I, I lost my footing again. Uh, uh, twice in a row, the same error occurred to me. And this is not good. Uh, this means there is some kind of a pattern here. Uh, and the pattern is the following. I try to jump, uh, but the moment I try to jump, I lose footing. Um, and that's not cool. So, uh, let's stand here. And do the sprint like that. All right, that's that's working. It seems. Uh, I just have. Ay 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 ay. Whoa! All right, don't go too far. I think this is a little bit of an issue here. I can go this way. The reason why I try to turn around like that is. So I get the most distance there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, making a... Ooh! Okay. A jump puzzle like this is just so annoying. Uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, where do I need to jump to next? Uh... Onto that tree, please. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Ah! <laughs> uh... Now I can lose my souls. Perfect. Um, no, actually, no. No, no, no. We're not doing this. Um, how do I get back down now? Um, okay. What am I going to do here is I'm going to sprint. Going this way. And... <gasps> I placed the landing. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, oh. Praise the sun! Oi! We found a bonfire! That is amazing! I think... I have no idea what it says, but you can light the bonfire. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. Alrighty. Now there's just uh, one other little uh, thing I have to do here. And it is getting this item over here. And we got the sunshades. Oh yeah, please let me be able to... Just play. Of course, they need reflex and foresight, but I yeah, I have no idea how good they are. Uh, to be warned, whenever approaching a danger zone, yeah, a danger zone, the sun shades, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. What about the uh, other item thing in the tree? Uh, what did I find? Like the, 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 the prophet is there. Where's the, where, are there any, maybe this? Predator human? No. Uh, no. Maybe this? Theurgist vest? No, Theurgist, that's not the one. This is like a AI data analysis thing. And uh, hey, hey, hey! Are you for real? What's going on?
come on! Oh yeah, prodigal spawn, there we go. Uh, I think this is the one. Uh, followers of the One Eye, which now controls all spiritual institutions of both mankind and the Arisen. Although this garb can withstand induction and radioactivity, it has oddly poor resistance against light. Mm. Uh, but... I, th I don't know if this was the item or not. Like, this is disciple stuff, and this is also disciple stuff. Uh, but where to, like prodigal, right? Uh, I found that. Oh, wait. I think maybe I'm looking at the wrong, uh, at the wrong thing here. It's not the item that I found. Uh, uh I actually found the, there we go. Uh, I found the model for it. That's why it was in black and white. All right. Let's, let's not be angry at the game. Uh, be angry at ourselves because we, uh, have a slight eye problem. And look at this. It looks the same. Uh, no, wait a second. This is just prodigal spawn. Yeah, prodigal spawn gloves and prodigal spawn armor piece. Too bad we can't get any data for this thing. Mm, prodigal spawn. Now, why did I get the prodigal spawn gloves uh, without the rest for the prodigal spawn? And there's the tiara. Uh, same thing here. Like, I got the prodigal spawn tiara. Follows of the one eye. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, but, like, hmm. It's just weird. Alright, but we have the shades. Now we're looking cool. Oh, yeah. We can kill anything now. We got two cubes. We got the light cube and we got the other light cube. And, uh, yeah, there's just one thing missing now. And uh, it is, well, actually not one thing, maybe more things, because I'm still not finished with the game. And the thing I uh, am looking for at the moment is... Something really specific. What is this? Yeah, uh, it is something uh, really specific. It is... I forgot it. Bollocks. <laughs> Shit. Brain lag. Uh, why is the... Why is this area somehow behind a wall? It's good though. Yeah, infuse the user, infuse me with... Wait a minute. Uh, I need more reflex in order to... Uh, access the headgear here. Uh, why can't I? There we go. This thing needs 10 reflex and 16 foresight. And I'm actually at 7 reflex, but I need more. Mm, that is a lot. Okay, I want the uh, requirements for this. I will not stand not having the minimum specs for it. Why on earth? Was this area behind an energy field? Hmm. Alrighty, let's call the elevator. Uh, yeah, no. We found two nice things. We got the sunglasses. We got again the strange graphical glitch. Uh, yeah, we got two nice things. We got the sunglasses, uh, we got the prodigal spawn models, and three things, yeah. Uh, and we got the uh, bonfire, the hidden one, which I have no idea what it says because it's slightly distorted. Um, this is the reason why I uh, interacted with it so many times, because I'm unable to figure out what it says. Like, there, there's nothing inside my head that says, oh, yeah, this is what it is. Uh, I have to get primed for this first. Uh, and priming in this case is how you usually identify completely 
unrecognizable uh, lyrics also, or actually like uh, misidentify lyrics. So let's say there's some some mumbling or something, and you actually don't know what it is, uh, and then someone tells you what it sounds like, and then you say, ah, yeah, I, uh, now I, now I get it, now I can hear it too. But uh, this is actually just how your mind identifies, tries to identify the world. Actually, how every sense of your person uh, tries to identify the world. Like, seeing also works with the feedback, right? Um, but the visual feedback, I think, works a little bit differently. Uh, but the audio feedback works uh, in a way that you... actually uh, First, you have to listen to the audio sample, let's say, right? Uh, to the thing that makes the sound. And then uh, you record this in your brain, in your memory, right? Um, this sample is stored, and every time uh, you hear something similar, right? Um, the thing is stored again, but also the previously stored information that sounds similar will be replayed in your mind. And uh, then the replay is also associated with meanings uh, and uh, other memories that are triggered. And when you do this, uh, you are then able to identify what it's supposed to be. Like you identify not just the sound, but also what its meaning is, because that's the thing that follows after that. Like let's say uh, the word uh, breach, right? Every time I say breach, like no one knows what a breach is. No one knows what a breach is. And then I say breach, that thing, breach. And every uh, time I come uh, across this thing uh, and I say breach, you're like, oh, wait a minute. You said this before. Uh, yes, this is a breach. Um, and then at some point, you're also able to just uh, uh, identify the meaning of breach when there's no breach pl uh, present that you can show, but I can just say, yeah, breach, whatever, are useful to uh, save your character progression and upgrade your character and whatnot. Um, and then it uh, triggers this memory of the breach. It also triggers the meaning of it. And then you kind of uh, understand what I said to you, right? Because language itself is can only work if both the uh, the recipient and the uh, the sender know the know the same things. Like uh, let's say almost ninety or ninety nine percent of the message or of the parts of the message uh, has to be known by both the sender and the, uh, the recipient in order to uh, send a message or to get the meaning of it, right? Like, if I don't know what I say, and uh, yeah, you might just uh, get the wrong meaning from it, right? And I don't know why you might uh, misunderstood it. And if the recipient... Uh, does not know anything like let's say I'm talking about rocket science or whatever <laughs> something really re or like uh, some heavy mass or some problems with, like a strange formula which almost no one actually is accustomed to um, then you wouldn't get what I say you would only get it if you already know what I'm talking about which is weird <laughs> the, again it's some kind of a chicken and egg problem um, you can only advance in little steps when it comes to this knowledge stuff. Uh, but if you want to get new knowledge, uh, what you have to do is bind it. Yeah, get uh, multiple connection points uh, in order to fit the puzzle piece in your head. This is the easiest way. Not just one way of remembering uh, and learning, but multiples. Uh, like visual, audible, uh, and maybe even uh, a haptic way, like, or maybe even taste, right? Uh, like SpongeBob when he tries to taste uh, the stone. 
uh, and the haptic thing means touching. Uh, so yeah, there are actually different uh, senses. You have to use all your senses to get the meaning uh, and some uh, touch points with the topic you're talking about. And then whatever you try to convey, uh, yeah, it just sticks in the mind for much longer. And then you can even use something like emotions, which... Uh, yeah, smell, also one nice part of it, because smell is really close to the uh, emotional part in the brain, and this is why it's or it's fairly uh, linked with it, and this is why it's so... Uh, yeah, why uh, smells seem to trigger uh, not just emotions, uh, but also memories. This, uh, hmm. Now, wait a minute. Uh, music triggers emotions and smell triggers memories. And if you get both at the same time, right, <laughs> then, like, uh, let's say when you are uh, at the Christmas mall and shopping uh, and you just listen to the, the, the Christmas music uh, and then you as well kind of uh, get the smell of cinnamon. Because every time you smell cinnamon, you are uh, you are immediately brought back uh, to Christmas time, because this is just what you use to identify it with. Um, and uh, yeah, this is this, and then you get into the Christmas mood when you listen to Christmas music, uh, and everything together gives you the Christmas feeling. And if you get also get like a visual cue with it. Um, let's say Christmas lighting, uh, so red and green, uh, and also the slightly dimmed yellows, right? Uh, warm colors. Colors that are usually not always present in your surroundings, right? Because in summer, there's no red. Uh, there's usually just bright uh, yellows uh, and blues, maybe. Uh, winter has just dim colors, black and white, and uh, mostly snowy. And whatnot, everything is gray because there's no vegetation uh, anymore. And then you also have your spring uh, and autumn colors. Autumn is red because of the leaves and whatnot. Um, gets more colorful, but spring has your uh, mm, what is it? It's 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 uh, ah those whitish colors, pastel. Uh, color so everything that's kind of mixed with white uh, so not just pink but pink with white mixed rosé or whatever and then you have a different different color scheme uh, for the different seasons and then there's of course your Christmas time the few days and that is kind of cued with the strange Christmas lighting <laughs> because let's say uh, you try to use blue uh, as a Christmas light, right? It's possible, but if you look at it, it's kind of a, a miss. It, it does not seem to fit. It looks cool, but it does kind of seem uh, a little bit off-putting, if you ask me, at least. Like, this is what I think. <laughs> anyway, let's end this episode. Uh, about life, death, uh, or like not, uh, about life, the, the universe, and everything, and hope that the Mind Vessel FM will hit my inventory in the near future. Because for some reason, I just couldn't get it. But I got other items. Like and subscribe. Tune in next time. Ta-ta!